Hi, are you ready to make your best friend for your shopping? This easy and quick market bag is perfect eco-friendly solution for you. So let's start making it. So you are going to need some yarn up to 100 grams. The perfect is cotton medium sized yarn, but you can use any other if you like. And the hook, one size smaller than recommended for your yarn. Round one. The project is going to start with the slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your finger and push the working yarn through the loop and this will create your initial slip knot. Now insert the hook into it and we will start chaining. It's very easy. You just need to wrap the yarn around your hook and pull a loop. Wrap around the hook and pull a loop. So you have to make chain of four. After this, we will start working double crochets into the first stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you have your first double crochet. So you have to make total of 13 double crochets in the same stitch. One more time, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And let's go fast forward into the making it. So here we have our 13 double crochets ready. And now we are going to slip stitch into the fourth stitch of the chain. This stitch on top of the double crochet. So just insert the hook through both loops like that. Yarn over, pull a loop and pull through the last loop like that. Round two. Now we will chain five just yarn over pull a loop yarn over pull a loop next step is to connect the chain so we will make one single crochet in the same stitch just insert the hook you pull a loop yarn over pull for two loops so now we have our first loop of the bag make chain of five again and now connect the chain with one single crochet in the next stitch continue the process of chain five and connecting with single crochet in the next stitch so here we have our first three loops so just continue the process of chain five and single crochet for this round i will meet you at the end of it uh, to show you how to close the round So we reached our last stitch uh, now we have to chain two and immediately we're gonna do one double crochet in the first stitch just right here so finish uh, the double crochet as usual and we will have our last loop finished 
So at the moment we have 14 loops in total. Round 3. This round we are going to start with chain of 5 again. Here we have our chain and now we're gonna connect the chain into the next loop like that with the single crochet. Doing like this will create a mesh look for our bag. And this round is just repeat chain of five plus one single crochet for 13 times in total. So connect this chain with the single crochet in the next loop like this. And we will meet you at the end of the round to finish it. Here we have to make the last loop, so we are going to chain two. And we will connect it with the one double crochet in the third stitch of the round. So we're gonna go in between those two loops. So it's the same connecting stitch from the last round or the first of this round so let's finish the double crochet as usual yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and now we have 14 loops in total and the round is finished round four the beginning is the same we are going to chain 5 and connect the chain with the single crochet in the next loop like this and from here we will make two increases in total for this round so we need to chain 5 again and make a single crochet in the same loop in here one single crochet and this is our first increase and now we have to continue making chain five and single crochet for seven times in the next loops and i will meet you for the second increase After seven chains, we chain five again and connect it with the single crochet in the same loop. So this is our second increase for this bag. And as you can see, we have increases in the opposite sides of the bag. So let's continue making chain five and single crochet for five times more and see you how to finish the round for this round last loop is the same we are going to chain two and make one double crochet in the connection loops or in the first loop of the round After this round, we have more loops now because we added two increases, so 16 loops in total. Round 5. 
from this round, we are going to chain six. We want to make the bag bigger, so we do increases and more chains as we go forward with the rounds. So here we connect the chain with single crochet and continue for all the round the same. Chain six and single crochet. Do it 15 times. The last loop consists of chain three and one double crochet in the first stitch of the round. So yarn over, insert through two loops, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And here we have 16 loops in total. Round six. We are making the bag even bigger, so we are going to chain seven. And make single crochet in the next loop. This round is the last for making increases, so we are going to chain seven and make one single crochet in the same loop for our first increase. Continue chain of seven and a single crochet combo for eight times until the next increase. Let's make our second increase for this round. So let's chain seven. And one single crochet in the same loop. Finish the round with the chain seven and the single crochets until the last loop. Connect the last loop with chain of four. And one double crochet in the first stitch. After this round, we have 18 loops in total. From now on, for the rounds 7 to 20, we do just chain of 7 and single crochet in the next stitch. The last loop of these rounds is the same. It's chain of four and one double crochet. This is how the project should look like uh, halfway. So we have a very nice mesh body and let's continue working on it. Another part of the bag is to make the straps. So after finishing your rounds, you have to chain one. And now we're gonna prepare the base for the straps. So first we are going to make one single crochet in the place of double crochet we just made. So let's place single here. And now in the connection point, we're gonna do one half double crochet, just like this. And in the next stitch, 
Again, one single crochet. And the base for the strap is done. The next step is to chain one and turn the project. So let's start working on the first row. We will need to go behind those two loops with your hook, as I am showing you here. Something like this. And yarn over and pull a loop. Now you have to have two loops on the hook. So let's go on the next stitch. Do the same, go behind those two loops and pull a loop. You have three loops on the hook now. And the last, go behind the two and pull a loop. Now you have four loops on the hook. And we begin with the yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over again and pull through two loops. Yarn over again and pull through the last two. Now we have to chain one and begin the process again. So row two is the same. You have to go through the first two loops like that and pull a loop. Go through the middle behind the two and pull a loop. And the last behind the two loops and pull a loop. Four loops on the hook and now just pull through two, pull through two and again pull through two and chain one. Let's go one more time with the third row. So go through both loops, pull a loop. Go behind the next two and pull a loop. And the last time go behind these two and pull a loop. So you have four loops on the hook. And now just yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Chain one to finish the row. In order to make the handles that you could use over your shoulder, you have to make 40 rows in total. So let's go. While making these straps, it might be tricky to follow the row count. So here I'm showing you how to follow it easily. So you have to search for the diagonal in the middle, the diagonal stitch. And every each of these diagonal stitches in the middle will count as one row. So here I'm showing you properly that uh, I'm talking about these middle stitches. So yeah, if you have 40 of those, your straps are done. So let's attach the straps. Here I'm checking that it won't be twisted. You can use any, any side of the strap which you like. And now we will leave two gaps and we'll attach on the third. So now turn around your bag. So here I'm checking once more. So we leave two connections and connect on the third. And now we are going to make four loops on the hook as we did before crocheting the strap. So just like that. And now we will begin attaching on three stitches. So we are going to use one stitch before the connection. Insert the hook and pull through the stitch and two loops on the hook. 
something like that. Now insert into the connection stitch. It might be a little tricky, but you can manage it. Here the connection and pull a loop through the stitch and through two loops on the hook. And repeat with the last one. So just in the next stitch, insert the hook, wrap the yarn and pull through all loops. And that's it. Just chain one and it's finished. You can cut off the yarn. Of course, there might be several ways how to connect the straps. You can simply just sew it together. But here we are replicating uh, the stitches quite similarly as we are starting the straps uh, for the base. So you choose what you prefer. And yeah, let's go on another one. Now you have to find the placement for the other strap. I leave it on the screen uh, what gaps I made between the straps. And now to start the second strap, you have to attach the yarn and uh, you attach on the one stitch before the connection. So just pull the yarn through the stitch, make a couple of knots. After securing the yarn, just insert the hook into the same stitch, pull a loop and make a chain of one. Do one single crochet in the same stitch. Now in the next we're gonna do one half double crochet. And in the next one single crochet. So as you can see here, it's the same process repeating as we did for the first trap. So just chain one, turn the project, and continue working on this trap as before. After finishing the second strap, attach the same way or any way you choose, and your bag is done. So here it is, your new shopping bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next ones. Bye.